The Wildlife Emergency Response Unit, run by Lilongwe Wildlife Center, is ready to jump into action whenever they're needed. Today, the veterinary team are heading north to Kasungu National Park. They've had a call about a bush pig that's been badly injured. We are on our way to take a look at a bush pig that's been attacked. And I must admit that going for these initial assessments is always a little bit nerve-wracking because you never know what you're going to find. You never know how bad the animal is or, you know, what you're going to be able to do for it. Amanda knows animal attacks can be serious, so she's brought along fellow vets Charlotte and Laston to assist. Hello. Hey. Morning. Morning. How, how was your bush pig this morning? The bush pig is still alive. We want you to do an assessment, if possible. Well, let's take a look at her now and see what we've got. The bush pig was found near this camp run by the International Fund for Animal Welfare, who are helping to secure the park against poachers. One of the things that's concerning me as I'm looking at her is that she is so very thin. And I really think that if she does have a chance, we need to get our hands on her. So I would recommend doing an anesthesia, even though there is a significant risk with doing the anesthesia. The bush pig is very weak. It's likely the bite wounds are already infected. We've decided to dart her. Some of the challenges with darting, though, when they're that close is bouncing the dart. So we'll just kind of play it by ear when we get there and hope that we can get that sweet spot. Okay. The dart's in. All right, cool. Let's go back here. The bush pig's family are keeping a close eye on proceedings. Bush pigs are very social animals and have stayed close to the camp ever since their friend was brought here. The darting was straightforward, but the next bit won't be. Amanda is going to have to top up the anesthesia by hand. Right now, she's sleepy, but she's not going to let anybody do anything to her. And that's what we need to do, is to be able to get our hands on her. So we're going to try to get her into anesthesia zone with this injection. But it's always a risk with bush pigs. They have sharp teeth and tusks they use when threatened, so could inflict a serious injury. Success. Now she's asleep, they can examine her wounds. Let's go. This is heavy. This is perfect. It's right in the shade. Yeah, in the shade, right. Nice. Over this right hip, she's got quite a large uh, lesion. It's quite swollen. It feels, when I'm pushing my finger into it, like the stuff underneath is moving. Bush pigs are hunted by predators, including hyena and leopards. But Amanda doesn't think this was a wild encounter. It reminds me of dogs. This yes, is what no, dogs that's, that's look like. Yeah. Um, because a leopard is going to be higher, this is dogs trying to drag it down by the belly, I would bet. Poachers are known to use hunting dogs to chase and take down large animals. Charlotte has seen a lot of dog bites. The thing with dog bites is they get so easily infected. Um, most of the time, where we can avoid it, we don't try and stitch them because it can, fortunately, in some cases, seal in the infection. We're going to have to manage these wounds as open wounds. How does that side look? I think this is as good as it's going to get. We'll turn her over now. One, two, three, roll. Excellent, great, nice. It was a savage attack. The bush pig is lucky to be alive. This pig is fighting, obviously, and that's great. However, it's really got quite a lot of infected wounds here. And so that's just a super hard thing to try to manage in a wild animal. Amanda has to make a tough decision. What she needs is treatment that is going to get on top of those wounds, but also she actually just needs a lot of food, and we need to make sure that we're supporting her properly. I'm not sure how to do this best in the field, or if we, it might be better off that she comes to Lulongwe. But that would mean separating her from her family. When Amanda spots her leg wounds, her mind is made up. 
it's all infected and, and necrotic and, and it's not good. Now she needs to come to the center for a little bit more intensive care for um, some x-rays. Then we can know exactly what we need to be giving her to get on top of that leg. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully she'll do okay. We would love nothing more than to bring her back here to her bush pig family, but we've got to get her through a pretty serious crisis first, though. Back at the Wildlife Center, an enclosure is being prepared for the bush pig, and head of animal care, Tori, is on hand to greet the patient. Hi, welcome back. Thank you. We have you a new friend. Watch fingers. Yep. Great. Come, pig. I know, it's very scary. All right, she's up. Oh, you're OK, Bob. Good pig. Good girl. Oh, but she says the snacks are good. <laughs> She's really not in a good way, so I am glad that we could get her here. She definitely needs that next level care, so hopefully we can uh, get her on her feet again. I think we have got quite a way to go to get her fixed up and hopefully back to where she belongs, but it's a step in the right direction and she's settled in fairly nicely. Hopefully she'll have a good night and um, we can start the task of getting her to take her meds in the morning. Hey, she's up. Bless her. Hi, Piggy. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, let's roll. Oh, you found some corn. Oh, nice. Yum. How has she been getting on, Tori? Yeah, she's doing well. I mean, she she still can't use that front left leg, so she hobbles around a little bit, but her appetite's really strong, um, as you can see, <laughs> demolishing that corn. Yep. Um, she seems pretty chill, you know, sleeps most of the day, which is kind of what That's we'd sick. expect. Great. Has a dinner time and then heads back to bed. Oh, she definitely seems to have settled in, which is fantastic. Those wounds seem to be healing quite nicely, the ones on the yeah. side. She's still obviously hopping around a little bit, but she's definitely moving about more. She, she wants to move more too, which is good. Good. I would say as well, she's still very skinny, but she does seem to have put on a little bit of weight, which is fantastic. Testament to all that corn. <laughs> <laughs> she does love the corn and the peanuts. If she continues to improve, the team are hoping to reunite her with her bush pig family in Kasungu. So she is going to be with us for quite a while. Um, so that wound is, is pretty decent. It's going to need a long recovery phase. But we are, um, you know, cautiously optimistic that she's past that critical danger zone and that she's now into the recovery stage and, and we should be able to kind of help her through that. So we'll kind of, you know, keep, what, keep doing what we're doing, keep medicating her, keep cleaning those wounds, keep her belly nice and full, um, and hopefully she'll, in a couple of months, make it back out into Kasungu. She really does love to eat. Hey, Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.